Welcome back to Our Voice. We're in our acoustic cafe with one of Treasure Valley's most well-known musicians, Steve Fulton. So Steve, thanks so much for being here. You're welcome, thank you. First of all, I want to know, did you always want to be an artist? I did. I, I uh, decided when I was seven years old, I, I told my mom I was going to be a musician. You did? Yeah. That's a pretty young age to know you knew. Yeah. So is it everything you expected or has your journey kind of led you someplace that you had no idea? It's nothing like I expected. It's, it's great, uh, but the, it's, yeah, it's nothing. You kind of have these, these dreams of what you think because of just what you've seen, you know. Mostly all of the information you get is from media, you know. Right, So right. You're, you don't usually have someone that you can talk to that's been gone all the way through their career. Um, you're not lucky enough to know a person like that. But for me, it was, I saw a concert when I was seven years old, and, and, I, and then after that concert, I, I decided I was going to go down that path. I was, and I never did anything else. Well, would you say that was the person who inspired you the most or the band that inspired you the most or that just kind of launched you and there's, you know, another musician that inspired you? That was, yeah, my, my mom really inspired me the most, I think. She's always oh. played piano and she plays guitar. She's in a band. It's awesome. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. Yeah, it's so fun. So what would you say, I mean, just because you said a lot of information when you were younger it wasn't out there. So a lot of people who think about, hey, this looks like a great you know, path to go down. They don't know what it's like to be on a tour band and be gone a lot. What would you say have been your challenges? Well, you know, the thing about music is, is normally you get this idea that you have to be, you have to be successful in the industry. And the thing that I always like to tell young artists is just play music because you love music. Don't think that you've got to be famous. There's a bunch of catchphrases out there that kind of make my skin crawl. The making it and the getting signed. Those two things, you know, mm -hmm. there's these catchphrases. And when I was younger, I mean, that was my goal, you know, right, to get a record right. deal and all this. And then I had some friends that did get record deals that it just kind of took all the fun out of mm -hmm. it and all the art out of it. It just become this, this thing where other people controlled your art. Do you have a story that you'd like to share, either one that's impactful or one that's funny or interesting? Oh, gosh, I, I don't know. I mean, I think, uh, I don't have any specific stories, but I have a lot of people that have that have just really inspired me a lot. I mm. just got off the phone with Pinto Bennett a few minutes ago, and he's he's an Idaho legend, and he's a guy that just inspires me. And I've and yeah, he's just been a guy that's done it his whole life, and you know he's almost seventy now. And okay, but right now you're going to play a song for us, so we're gonna we're gonna have a listen yeah. in our acoustic cafe. So here we go. Tractor that my grandpa owned. We drove down to the deep back roads they used back in the Civil War. We went down to Richmond Hill to find the bones from those who lived, those who lived and those who died, the people of the people's fire. Watch your son. Watch your song There's more than beats the eye at the watch your song Watch your song Watch your song They came up by boat on the walk of mom. This is where my dad was born, his 1,300-acre home. He was a 16-year-old school bus driver, and his sister Joe could pull the truth from liars. My brothers and my cousins knew this place was where our folks both grew. The vast importance of this past could not extend into our paths. Watch your song. Song. There's more than meets the eye at the watch your song. Watch your song, watch your song. They 
Garden all the fields and trees with stories deep and rich in pride he shared with others changing tides. The legends told he got hand down, he cared the brook green gardens ground. The father of my father's dad, descending from a foreign land. But watch your song, watch your song. Watch your song, watch your song They came up by boat on the walk of mm -hmm. They came up by boat on the walk of oh, They came up by boat on the walk of mom. My goodness, thank you so much. So you started off your song and you said this has like an Idaho root, so can you tell us a little bit more about it? You just wrote it. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty new. Um, there, uh, anybody who's been to McCall has driven right by this this old barn and, uh, and yeah. all, all my life I've seen this barn and I um, it used to you know, it leaned for so long that we would comment on how long is that thing gonna stand there and then it finally fell down and uh, I just wanted to know what happened to it, you know, and so uh, the, what, it fell down, it was all piled up there, and then, and then the next time I came by, it was all cleared away, and I just kept thinking, what in the world oh, happened yeah. to that, you know, so I came up with my own, own ending of what happened to it. You came That's, up with a story. Yeah. That's what I love about songs. I mean, they are storytelling, just another way of, of telling stories. Okay, so if people want to buy your CD, get a hold of you, how can they do that? Uh, SteveFoldMusic.com is the best way to get to me. Okay. I'm, I'm also on Reverb Nation. You can just do a search for Steve Fulton Music. Okay, well thanks not only for your music, your original music, but also all you do for other artists because I know you do a lot of recording and you really help other artists as well. I have well. to say something. Yeah. I would, be, I would kick myself if I didn't say this. I'm actually working on a record right now. You have to say that. I'm sorry, I yeah. forgot to say the most important thing. So it's called Eponym and I'm just starting it. I just started recording it last night and uh, it's a double nice. CD and I'll have it out in the fall. Okay, so we'll have you back on maybe to hear a song after okay, that. Okay, that'd be great. Awesome.